Hi, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to do my monthly ranking video of every movie I've seen in the month of April. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. This is the third time I'm doing this video because the first two times something went wrong with the recording. And I hope this time it works. So, <clears throat> let's get started. Um, if you like these kinds of videos, please like and subscribe. I'll be doing it every month um, all the movies I've watched. Um, somewhere in this week or maybe next week, I will be doing a review on the Guardians of the Galaxy game. Um, so if you like to see that, please subscribe. I've watched 19 videos this month. That is the most I think I've ever watched. And yeah, it's been a very good month in all honesty. And I haven't watched any new movies this month um, because I didn't have the time and because of other situations. But I would I will be going to see the new Guns of Galaxy 3 movie and I'll be doing a review on that also. So let's get started on this ranking video. 19th and last place is going to be Austin Powers International Man of Mystery. I went into this movie thinking this is going to be a very funny movie because I've heard kind of good things about this movie but it was very disappointing and I think not all the jokes land. I think most of the jokes don't land. There's some weird jokes, weird things happening in the movie that I think it's not good but um, yeah. The fish out of water thing is a good thing, but I think they don't do it quite as good as they think or they wanted to because it's a bit weird to hear about the 70s and how everybody was sleeping with everybody and drugs and all that kind of things. It was not good, but yeah, I think not a good movie. 18th is going to be Evolution, the 2001 film. This is a very weird movie. I still liked it, but it's like a dumb fun film. It's not good, but it's enjoyable. If you want something to, to watch that is funny, not too serious, this is the type of movie you should go and watch because it's not a bad movie. <laughs> It's not a good movie. It's funny, but it's from the guy that, that wrote Ghostbusters, the original one, and you could feel some of the same beats. But this is like a alien space one with weird characters. It's not as good as any of the Ghostbusters, but it's very funny at times and sometimes dumb. If you watch this movie, you know the ending, very weird. But Go watch it. It's a very fun movie to watch if you just want something to laugh about. Number 17 is going to be the Lion King live action remake. I'm a very good, a very big fan of the original one. Um, I think the live action format doesn't work for the Lion King movie because it's animals and animals don't have facial expressions. In the animated movie, you, you can at least feel some things, and yeah, I think the story, I think they changed the story a little bit from for the Lion King live action, and some things don't work, um, like when Mufasa dies, there's no emotion there, because it's just a baby lion screaming, because yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, so that's the Lion King remake. It's a very pretty movie. It's a gorgeous, gorgeously done. All the animals are looking very good. That actually bumped the score up a little bit. So it's not as bad, but it's not as good as the original one. From 16 onwards to one. This, all these movies are amazing and better because I usually um, rate my movies from one to 10. Um, everything from 16 onwards is an 8 and above. That's why I say this is a very good month of watching movies and it was a very enjoyable month. So last place of all these good movies is going to be Monsters Inc. 
I, th I think I've only watched this maybe twice or maybe three times. As a kid, I was scared of the Monsters Inc. movie. I don't remember why, but I remember it very more bad or more terrible. I don't know. Because this one wasn't as bad as I remember it to be. It was a very enjoyable, heartwarming story, and I think the storyline is very good. But that's it. I don't know what else to say about this movie. It's a very good animated movie, one of Pixar's best, and yeah, very enjoyable, even though I was scared of it as a kid. Number 15 is going to be Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. If you watched my previous month, my previous month ranking, the the March ranking, um, me and my girlfriend started watching the Mission Impossible series from the first one, and because she haven't, she hasn't watched um, every one of them. So we've done the whole one, and we finished the series this month. So there is going to be a lot of Mission Impossible movies in here, but Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. It's not one of my favorites. I think it's still a very good movie, a good Mission Impossible movie, but not as good as the rest, in my opinion. Uh, the mystery about why he is where he is in the beginning, and the mysteries surrounding his past, and the twist on the end, I think is very good. They've done that very well. Um, so yeah, that is number 15. Number 14 is going to be Black Panther. Ryan Coogler did a very good job with this movie. I think probably one of the best MCU movies. Still a very good MCU movie. And I think it's a very good story-driven movie. I like the villain in Killmonger. It's a very compelling villain. And I think it's one of the MCU's still, still one of the MCU's best. Javik Boseman in this role was very good. It's still sad when you watch these movies, but this is still a very, very good movie. I like the action, the CGI, everything about it. Still very good, the story very good. Still a very good movie. <laughs> I've said it a lot now, but it's still very good. Number 13 is going to be Fight Club. Now this is was the first time I've watched Fight Club, and I know that's probably a sin at my age, if I haven't watched Fight Club yet, but me and my girlfriend watched the Gera. I loved it. I didn't. She didn't like it as much. I think because it's a male-driven movie, so it was a good movie. I liked it. I think that the twist at the end was very good. The whole movie, you know, was very good. I liked it, but I th wish I watched this when I was younger or a few years back because. The movie is so good and so popular that some of the story beats were spoiled by YouTube or the social media and I think if I had if I haven't seen the spoilers it would be probably much better. But there was still a very good movie. If you haven't watched Fight Love yet, go watch it. It's a treat to watch. Number twelve is going to be Jurassic World. Jurassic World is a very good movie in the series, probably my second favorite. I think Jurassic Park will always be a better movie in this franchise. It's a very beautiful movie. The CGI is great. The dinosaurs are looking fabulous. <laughs> and everything about this movie is still very good. I think it just feels a lot of the same in Jurassic Park, just in a newer form, just a little bit polished, but I think Jurassic Park still does some of the story beats better and in my opinion Jurassic Park is more interesting and more entertaining and a little bit more scary <laughs> yeah so this is a very still a very good movie one of my best memories and very good I like it very much number 11 is going to be Despicable Me now Despicable Me it's a very strange movie. I like it very much, but it's one of Illumination's best animated movies. I think The Spiegel Me is where the, it's the first movie in the whole company, and I think they did a very good job with Gru and everything he does, the villain Victor, and the whole story. It's funny, it's heartwarming, 
it's very entertaining i like it very much it's a very good animated movie probably one of my favorites because i grew up with this film and i always think i always thought it was a very good film um going, going into the top 10 is going to be number 10 the truman show this is the first time i watched this film um we had a movie night with my family and i chose this film um no one me and my family had watched this me included and this was a very good movie just two two or three steps worth being a horror because living in that kind of world very scary I won't spoil anything about this, um, about the movies on this list, but the Truman Show is a very good movie, very, it's very engaging, it takes you through what he goes, and how he feels, you, you feel ev almost everything he feels, and the ending of this movie is probably one of the most perfect ending in, ev in any movie ever, this was a very good movie, Enjoyable. Go watch it. <laughs> Number nine is going to be not another teen movie. I live in South Africa, so we have load shedding. That is when our electricity is off for two hours, maybe sometimes four. So my girlfriend downloaded this movie and told me, let's watch it. And I said, okay. I didn't have any great... Um, big ambitions for this movie I've heard about it but at the end I totally love this movie this is probably the most fun I had while watching a movie with my girlfriend because it's very funny they make fun of all the tropes there's um, cameos and references to all the rom-coms team movies and I grew up with most of these movies so I really know I knew most of these things, so every time there was something I knew, I was like, ah, oh, yes, I know that, I know that. And I was like, getting so excited, and I don't know why. It's still a funny movie. Some things I didn't expect. If you're, the right, if you're at the right age, go watch this movie. It's very funny, and I think it's very enjoyable. Number eight is going to be Aquaman. I've rewatched Aquaman for the video on this channel that will be coming out hopefully soon. But I don't remember Aquaman being so good. I wasn't as hyped as most people about this movie, but when it came out, I watched it once and I think it was a second time of second time watching this time. And this is a very beautiful movie. I'm I like anything about sea world and things like that, but this movie was very beautiful. I like the story, Jason Momoa in the in the lead, awesomeness. <laughs> it's a very good movie, very enjoyable movie. The CGI underwater is great. I like it very much. It, this is a this is probably one of my favorite DC movies, and I liked it very much. <laughs> Number seven is going to be Scream, the first one. I've never watched any Scream. I, I was never a big fan of horror, um, slashes, I don't know how you de determine which is which, but Scream was a very good movie. Um, I'm happy that this didn't feel the same as Fight Club because I didn't have any spoilers. So I didn't know who the killer was, I didn't know what to expect, and this was a total ride that I enjoyed so much. The kills were awesome, the movie was suspenseful, the twist at the end was amazing. It sucked me in and it makes me excited to watch the other Scream in the franchise. Because I didn't expect this to be so good and I'm still amazed at how much I enjoyed this movie. Number 6 is going to be Mission Impossible 3. Now... From 6 to 1, every single one of them are 10 out of 10 films. Now, these 6 films I grew up with, I loved very much. So, that's why this is so high. You'll probably see the pattern of what kind of films I like in this top 6. So, number 6 is going to be Mission Impossible 3. Mission Impossible 3 is 
very enjoyable, very likable. Probably it was my favorite of the beginning of the films, the building up, understanding what they wanted to do with the series. And Mission Impossible 3 did a very good job. I liked how it ended, I liked the movie as a whole, very enjoyable. Number five is going to be Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. This is the movie that got me into Mission Impossible. My father is a big Mission Impossible fan and when this movie came out in cinema it took me and my one friend without us watching any of the others. Um, we went to this film and we went to the theater and we came out loving it. Um, I remember me and my friend talking about it for a long time and this is the movie that made me love Mission Impossible the series and I think that's maybe why it's so high up of this list maybe for nostalgia reasons I don't know but this is probably my second favorite of all number four another one is going to be Mission Impossible Fallout this one takes Rogue Nation and builds upon everything that makes it better and takes it and makes it better I like the villains I like the inclusion of Henry Cavill. The whole story is very good and the twists here are very enjoyable. The ending, top, probably my favorite ending of any one of these movies. It makes me excited to watch the new one coming out later this year. And watching the whole series is possible. Mostly the reason why Mission Possible is so hard this list because if you rewatch everything, it's so good. So that's maybe why it's so high on this list. Number three is going to be The Avengers. I don't know what to say about the next three films, but this one, I loved The Avengers when it came out. I was probably the perfect age. Um... I grew up watching Iron Man and Thor over and over again because it was just awesome to see Iron Man in a film. And when the Avengers came out, I had to go see it. Captain America, the first Avengers, is the first film I watched in the theaters. So going in and watching this film, it was awesome. I remember being, being so excited about seeing all these people coming together and just it just puts a smile on my face and it's been a very long time since i watched the avengers and i've watched the avengers for upcoming video most of these movies are for upcoming videos but it just left such a smile upon my face when i watched the ending i don't know why probably because i don't watch it on repeat the whole time and give myself some space so going back this was really a good treat to watch i loved it very much and the mcu is why i love superheroes oh, mostly number two spider-man no way home same reason as the avengers i grew up loving spider-man um the sam raimi one i had curtains on curtains on my windows of Sam Raimi Spider-Man and I've probably watched Spider-Man 3 more than Spider-Man 1 and 2 probably because I was that age I don't know why and when the amazing Spider-Man came out 1 and 2 I went to watch both in cinemas and I'm actually a pretty big fan of Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man he's probably my favorite Spider-Man and I think I like Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 probably more than most people do. So, yeah. When I watched Spider-Man No Way Home, um, I almost died of excitement because it's like a, a childhood dream coming true seeing Sam Raimi, Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland. It was amazing. It was probably the second best theater experience I had because seeing all of those characters together fighting their old villains the ending is probably one of the saddest 
and it makes it, it makes an impact. And seeing Andrew Garfield so emotional, I don't know, Sam Raimi also, I don't know why it's Sam Raimi, I mean, Toby Maguire, I, sorry for every time I said Sam Raimi, that was idiotic by me. <laughs> I'm just so excited about this video. So that's why it's number two. I loved, loved every moment of that in the series. This is the first movie I've watched two times in the, in theaters. That's how much I loved it. But coming in first place, my number one of April is going to be Avengers Infinity War. The MCU's best movie, no doubt. The ending, probably one of the best things ever. This was the Avengers movie. I remember the excitement of going into this one. The ending, going into Endgame, it was amazing. I love this movie still. It, puts, it still puts this big smile on my face when you see everybody come together. It's been a, a hell of a journey because I've watched every single Marvel film until the Avengers Infinity War came out and it was just, it was a blast. The ending still sticks, sticks by you. I'm very excited, I don't know why, but this was still one of my favorite movies ever. Probably my favorite movie. But we'll see as things progress on this channel. I don't know what to say about the Avengers Infinity War. I just love it so much. That's why it's number one. A very good movie. Everything about it's good. So that's my list of the 19 films I've watched in April. Um, I'm going to do a new thing where I put the average on the screen. I didn't do it for the previous month, but the average for that month was 4.55 or 5.44. I can't remember now. But the average for this month is 8.42. That's a very good average for a month of just watching movies. I don't think I will ever beat that, but we'll see. I'll keep track. Um, next month, I'll be keeping track on the averages for each month. And yeah, this was a very fun video to make. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of these kinds of videos, please like and subscribe. And have a nice day. Cheers. Thank you.